identify the molecule which does not exist. The options are B2, C2, Li2 and Ne2. Students for this question you have to understand that first of all we have to calculate the bond order. If the bond order of a molecule is 0 then that particular species will not exist and for calculating bond order first of all we have to write the molecular orbital configuration of the given species. So, let us start with B2 here I am writing the electronic configuration B2 it has 10 electrons. So, sigma 1 s 2 sigma star 1 s 2 sigma 2 s 2 sigma star 2 s 2 and then we have pi 2 p x 1 pi 2 p y 1. Now, we have to calculate the bond order bond order is equals to half number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital. So, let us put the values half number of electrons in bonding is equals to 2 plus 4 plus 6. So, 6 minus 4 since this star represents anti bonding molecular orbital which is equals to 1. Moving to next C 2, C 2 has 12 electrons. Let us write the electronic configuration sigma 1 s 2, sigma star 1 s 2, sigma 2 s 2, sigma star 2 s 2, then we have pi 2 p x 2 and pi 2 p y 2. Let us calculate the bond order, bond order is equals to half number of electrons in bonding is equals to 2 plus 4. 5, 6, 7, 8 minus number of electrons in anti bonding which is equals to 4 which is ultimately equals to 2. Moving to next now we have to calculate the bond order of Li 2 since Li 2 has 6 electrons. So, sigma 1 s 2 sigma star 1 s 2 then sigma 2 s 2 let us calculate the bond order bond order is equals to half. 4 minus 2 which is equals to 1. Moving to the last option Ne2 which has 20 electrons. Let us write the molecular orbital configuration sigma 1 s 2, sigma star 1 s 2, sigma 2 s 2, sigma star 2 s 2, then we have sigma 2 p z 2, then pi 2 p x 2, pi 2 p y 2, then I am writing here pi star 2 p x 2 pi star 2 p y 2 and then sigma star 2 p z 2. Let us calculate the bond order bond order is equals to half now the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital is equals to 2 plus 2 4 then we have 6 6 plus 4 is 10. So, here it is star. So, 10 minus 2 4 4 plus 6 is equals to 10 which is equals to 0. That means, among the given species any 2 will not exist because the bond order of any 2 is 0. That means, the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question students. IUPAC official names of elements with atomic number 102 and 107 respectively are. Student let us find out First of all we are given with Mendelevium, the atomic number of Mendelevium is 101. Next we are given with Nobelium and the atomic number of Nobelium is 102. Then we are given with Nobelium again so 102. Here Borium, the atomic number of Borium is 107. Laurentium, the atomic number of Laurentium is 103. Nobelium, the atomic number is 102. Here Mendelevium the atomic number is 101 and Laurentium the atomic number is 103. That means the correct answer is option number B. Moving to the next question students. Half life period for a first order reaction is 10 seconds. The time required for 2 gram of the reactant to become 0 0.25 gram is. Student for first order reaction there is a formula to calculate the amount of substance left after n half lives which is equals to n equals to n naught upon 
2 raised to the power n where n represents amount of reactant left after n half lives n naught represents initial amount of reactant and small n represents number of half lives let us put the values here so n is 0.25 gram since it is already given n naught that is initial amount is 2 and 2 raised to the power n which we have to calculate so 2 raised to the power n is equals to 2 upon 0 0.25 which is equals to 8 so n is equals to 3 that means total 3 half lives will be required to reduce 2 gram of the reactant into 0.25 gram of the reactant so let us calculate the time required so time required is equals to number of half lives that is 3 into half lifetime period that is t half which is equals to 10 seconds this is already given in the question which is equals to 30 seconds that means the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question students identify the correct statement from the following students in this question we are given with four statements and we have to identify the correct one so let's start with the first statement number one blister copper has blistered appearance due to the evolution of so3 gas student this is an incorrect statement as the blister copper has blistered appearance due to the evolution of so2 gas not so3 gas moving to the next statement vapor phase refining is carried out for zinc by van arkel method student this is an incorrect statement as van arkel method is used for the refining of zirconium and titanium on the other hand zinc can be refined using distillation as well as electrolytic refining moving to the next statement cast iron has about 3 percent carbon student this is a correct statement moving to the last statement wrought iron is impure iron with 5 percent carbon student this is an incorrect statement as wrought iron is the purest form of iron that means the correct answer for this question is option number c moving to the next question the existence of charge on colloidal particles is confirmed by which experiment the options are emulsification electrophoresis tyndall effect or brownian movement students for this question we need to know that electrophoresis confirms the existence of charge on colloidal particles under an applied electric potential that means the correct answer is option number b moving to the next question students 